Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. If this is your first time here, on this channel I do non-affiliated reviews of uh, credit cards and other products and I have lots of travel videos. And today I'll talk about uh, American Express discontinuing its Priority Pass uh, restaurant benefits. For those who are not familiar with the Priority Pass program, so this is a program which gives you airport lounge access and uh, you can uh, purchase Priority Pass, Pass membership uh, by going to Priority Pass uh, website directly or you can have uh, the Priority Pass membership plus free lounge access uh, via different credit cards. So American Express high-end credit cards uh, offer Priority Pass uh, membership and uh, free lounge access. Uh, for example, American Express Platinum card which has $700 annual fee, American Express Airplan Plus uh, per Platinum card, which has $500 annual fee, and uh, there are some other American Express cards. And uh, starting uh, August 1st, American Express will discontinue uh, offering restaurant benefits uh, at various airports uh, via its Priority Pass membership. However, you'll still be able to access a lounge uh, via Priority Pass, but it's just the discount, uh, restaurant benefits uh, that are being discontinued. Now, we haven't heard from other credit cards which are offering Priority Pass membership that they will be discontinuing restaurant benefits. So, this is my understanding at this point that you know if you have a Priority Pass free lounge access uh, through other credit cards, you will still be able to. Uh, access restaurants at different airports there is no word on that uh, other credit cards are being uh, are discontinuing uh, pr priority pass restaurant benefits american express credit cards are in general uh, they're good to uh, get points however american express is notoriously cheap uh, providing benefits for example uh, if you want uh, concierge service for an American Express credit card, then you have to pay uh, $699, which is the American Express Platinum uh, credit card. But uh, there are many Canadian credit cards which you can have concierge service just paying $120 annual fee. Another example is that uh, if you'd like full travel insurance uh, benefits, for example, trip cancellation or trip in interruption plus other travel insurances, then you can get that from other credit cards uh, just paying $120 annually. But if you want the same uh, full travel uh, benefits uh, from American Express cards, uh, the least uh, annual fee credit card which provides this insurance is the American Express Aeroplan Plus Platinum credit card, which has $499 annual fee. But uh, many Canadian credit cards uh, starting at $120 will give you the same benefits. So let's say you want uh, full insurance coverage and uh, you want uh, priority pass uh, annual fee plus uh, free lounge passes then if you're looking at any non-american credit cards then you can have these benefits uh, paying uh, from $120 to $150 for example EMO uh, Air Miles World Elite MasterCard uh, the annual fee is hun only $120 but you get the free lounge access and uh, free priority pass membership and then you get full insurance coverage uh, another credit card you can uh, take a look at is the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite credit card, which has $139 uh, annual fee, and this card gives you full insurance coverage, trip cancellation, trip interruption, and main, plus much more. And you get six lounge, lounge passes plus the priority pass uh, free membership. So, the free membership and the free lounge access they're two separate uh, entity. Uh, what it means that uh, let's say if a credit card is giving you a uh, free, free annual membership. That doesn't mean that you can enter the lounge for free. Uh, it's it's just you are having the annual membership, and each time you want to enter a lounge, you will have to pay an entrance fee, which is usually about it could be twenty eight dollars to thirty dollars. But if a credit card is giving you priority pass, free membership plus free lounge accesses, which can be for some cards, let's say four lounge passes, or some cards can be six, like a Scotia Passport uh, Infinite then you don't have to pay to enter lounges uh, let's say for four times or six times until you finish your free passes and then once you finish them then you can uh, still access the lounges by paying each time at the entrance so american express credit cards uh, some of them had uh, unlimited lounge accesses and some of them had fixed lounge accesses but uh, with uh, the priority pass uh, lounge accesses uh, they would they were offering uh, 
or they still offer uh, restaurants at some airports because you know some airports uh, the priority pass may not have any lounges or some of them uh, they have lounges but you know it might be too crowded so they had a deal with uh, they have a deal with the restaurants where you can enter uh, the restaurant and you can eat uh, for which you'll get free credits up to it would be about twenty eight dollars to thirty dollars uh, and then uh, that entrance or each time uh, you eat it still would be considered one lounge access so let's say if you have a credit card a Scotia passport uh, visa infinite that gives you free six free lounge passes then you can actually eat six time at airport uh, restaurants uh, instead of going to lounges which are in partner with the priority pass program and uh, you can still eat uh, six times and until uh, or up to $38 I'm sorry $28 to $30 you'll not be able to you don't have to pay anything uh, because that uh, amount will be provided by priority pass so this is the benefits which American Express cutting now so if you have American Express uh, credit cards that offer lounge accesses then you'll still be able to use lounges but you'll not be able to use uh, restaurants starting August 1st but uh, as I mentioned that some other credit cards non-American Express credit cards they haven't mentioned anything so at this point it looks like you know they are still offering these benefits so for a lot of people uh, this is going to be a good reason to cut American Express or cancel American Express credit cards because as I mentioned that you know American Express credit cards they are good for point uh, rewards but they're not good for benefits so they don't give lots of benefits which you can easily get from other non-American Express credit cards just paying very little but uh, to get uh, let's say full travel coverages uh, the least American Express annual fee credit card would be the American Express uh, Aeroplan Plus uh, Platinum card $499 annual fee and even paying $499 uh, you'll just get the full travel coverage insurance coverage but you're not going to get any concierge services so if you want a concierge service from an American Express credit card plus full travel insurance benefits then you're going to have to pay $699 which is uh, like $700 and that's the American Express Platinum credit card this is the time you can look at other credit cards uh, for example their BMO World Elite uh, Air Miles card or BMO World Elite Rewards cards uh, which offer full travel insurance benefits plus four uh, and two lounge passes plus the free membership and then there's the Scotia Passport Visa Infinite credit card which has annual uh, priority pass annual membership and six lounge accesses and then there are many other credit cards which offer free lounge passes and uh, lounge uh, accesses and then they cover full travel insurance benefits so if you're interested about other Canadian credit cards and you want to uh, you know, uh, you want to get rid of your American Express credit card? Gen just uh, check my uh, travel, uh, check my credit card videos on uh, this channel, and all my videos are non-affiliated. That means what it means that I do not take money or from any credit card companies, and I do not uh, provide affiliated links because most of the sites or uh, videos you're watching online actually they're working for the credit card companies. And they're just you know working as a credit card company sales people to sell you credit cards uh, so to make some money off you but uh, if you're looking for uh, someone or some channel or website that is not affiliated then you have got ameddon.com and my youtube channel and i would say probably 99 percent of the other uh, websites or videos you're looking at they're all affiliated so you're not going to get honest and unbiased opinion for them forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video Thank you for watching and I'll see you shortly.